Hello, friendly friends and fellows, guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, everybody, welcome once again to Middle Earth, where Billy of Kazadum comes to attack Dane's Halls. He is up against first an almost insignificant force, but of course of a very significant unit. Um, the half trolls of Gundabad, but then it will be followed up by a rather substantial army of snow orcs led by Marauder Chief Hazolg the Bloody with his black shield archers. So, this will be not an insignificant Attack. battle that we are about to wage on the slopes of the Grey Mountains. Mm. <clears throat> Let's see how we get on. Okay, we initially have a pretty decent hill there. Alternatively, we could try to prod them with our archers and just pull back our main force back to this hill here. That might serve us well. Especially against the larger horde of orcs that might come because if we stay here I would be concerned by that hill right there that could be used against us to terrifying effect So I think I would most like my catapults up on this hill Okay And then these guys will be there to deal with the half trolls, I think. And we'll try to see if they can do that. Um, perhaps aided by some reclaimers with their um, throwing hammers, axes, whatever they're throwing. They'll be. They will be throwing those. Implements of doom and destruction upon our foes. And we have uh, the pikes. Um, hmm. You know, we might just put these spoon over there. Put some pikes here. Some spearmen behind them. Some spearmen next to them. And then we have some light infantry. We'll put them over here, I think, if we can. Dare we dream? And then we have some heavy infantry here at the back, ready to flank in on the enemy. And uh, Berlin himself over here. I think that is a wonderful wonderful location. The enemy are bringing so, in reinforcements. Okay, so the we have the half trolls way over here. Now, the enemy is going to outrange us pretty spectacularly on the archers themselves. But I will nonetheless try to get some good shots off at them and provoke their incursion into our little trap here. Um, seeing as the half trolls are not exactly going to play ball, I'm going to put uh, these lads over into team five. Feeling uh, two. Um, okay, so how are they forming up over here? We've got. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a lot of melee troops at the flank. Ah, <laughs> and. I see that for some reason. Ah, this must be. Ah, that was the second mod that I uh, had. That has 
pulled um, in some UI op features from uh, and just pasted them into the base game, I assume, which is why they also occur here. Okay, I'm not sure I'm too happy with that overall because uh, these gunpowder themed uh, effects don't, uh, UIs don't really um, work too well for <laughs> Middle Earth, I would have to say. I would have to say. Um, I don't remember exactly how far they can throw their javelins, but they are very powerful once they do throw them. Um, let's put up the best bet to form up over there. Okay, and what are they doing? They seem to be moving forward, possibly to take up the hill alongside their half troll brethren. So we're going to be raising them a bit up to this hill. Starting to fire. Um, have a hundred meter range, which is insane for a javelin troop. They must have the farthest range of any javelin unit in the game. And of course, they also have a substantial amount of uh, health and defense, enabling them to withstand quite a lot of punishment. Seems that because that has that's Hazol himself, Hazol the Bloody, moving out with his Black Shield Regiment. Mm, but he's not quite in reach of our catapults, or is he? Uh, kind of. Okay, our archers are not terribly effective against those trolls, and their javelins are now starting to sh tear us to pieces. So I'm going to pull my forces back a little bit. Oh dear, they're just hammering away at us. Also the black shield archers over here doing a number on us. I suppose we could try to fire back at them, but I'm not too sure about it. Here come the half trolls. Ah, they might be going in for the kill. Yeah. Yeah. We, we're not going to win any awards for archery on this day against the snow orcs because they generally are a lot better at it. I mean, have they even. We haven't even managed to kill a single one of them. Uh, or. Okay. One. We've killed one of them. Oh dear. Oh, this is uh, this isn't going well. Okay, you can reach those. See if you can see if you can reach those black shield archers with the catapults. Um, move in with your hammers, good folk. Cast at them, reclaimers. Get at them. Okay, we're take. <laughs> we're starting to bombard their archers. Jesus. These damn javelins of the hard trolls, they're just pain to deal with. 
here because you can, as you can see, they knock back your troops. Present, I'm a it seems that a lot of the sound effects uh, have been replaced. Um, I'll have to look into that. I'm not too happy about that. Um, but I suppose it should be a pretty easy fix. And I'll just have to remember to... Okay. Want to engage the Kazabdom Reclaimers in melee? Black Shield Archers? Are you sure that's what you want to do? That's not going to go well for you at all. Okay. Um, now... That means we will need to go in and support. Um, you fire and keep firing, keep firing. That's, and then please attack the Orc Avengers. The Reclaimers are doing okay, but they could be doing better. They are up against Snow Scats as well that they've sent in. Okay. And they're basically sending all their troops along this front. So we're going to pull our Light Infantry in as well. The sight of our beards! The sight of our beards! Okay. Sons of the Fallen are charging into the Orc Avengers. This is not the best matchup in the world for them. But the Guardians are going to... ...support them. And they seem to be... ...unsure of whom exactly they want to be fighting. So that is... ...to our advantage, if nothing else. Snorg Rages, deep in guard, get at those guys. Okay, now around this side we have some warband. These are the spearmen, I believe. Indeed. So what do we have here? Snorlax spears. Let's just march into them. See what we can do. Good tidings. The enemy and we have killed. Dead. We have sent the car to hell. That must be, oh, that's Captain Muzmac. Okay, okay. Fine, fine. Get ready to flank. Uh, you lads, uh, get in there and support against the Avengers, I think. Okay, uh, shoot those black shield archers over there. It would be awesome if we could take out Azolf. Uh, who stands? Is that him? It might be. I'm not, I'm not sure. No, no. He might be over here, actually. Now that I think of it, and our reclaimers are on it. If we kill this army here, Dane's Halls will be ours. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, oh, come victory out, will be wall. ours. And I charge those spearmen in the back. Palerix coming in. Ah, oh, this militia is not up to the task of dealing with them. But I suppose if we play our cards right, we can fall into the back of an enemy. Ah, uh, okay, we have these guys. Uh, 6 and 12, 8 and 13, so we're only slightly better than their archers in melee. Mm, Black Shield Wolf Band are substantially better than ours. But yeah, let's fall into the back of the Pale Perks. And let's bring in Sons of the Fallen. Our Dwarven Travelers have been routed. Some mountain orc hunters. Oh dear. Yeah, I should have paid more attention to them. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Let's fire. 
Okay. The First Legion. They are doing a fantastic job against these little spears. So please press further into them. Yes, that's what I like to see. Uh, the fallen. Yeah, you can just uh, move on to there. Or what? Oh no, 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 no! Support the pikes then. Matter to think of it. Okay, our shield guard are doing pretty good job against against the war band. They're about to be flanked by half trolls. Might not be the best case scenario for them. Balin, you're gonna be needed in tackling these pale orcs. Oh no. They are basically dedicated general killers, these half trolls. We don't want them attacking uh, their leader. So what can we do? We can shoot great shots of those marshes, I suppose. It's a bit of a tricky situation this. I mean it goes it's going okay, but it could quickly unravel. Yeah. Oh man, the first legion, they're flanked and yet they're still holding so well. Against three different units from all sides, but here here comes a bit of support for them. But we have lost half our men. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. Is that the half trolls? The half trolls are rousing. Nice. Okay. Excellent. 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 That's one less worry. <laughs> Okay, where do we want to shoot? Uh, maybe here, actually, because there's a whole lot of units there that could do with some bashing. Okay, the snow, so snow spears are retreating. Interesting. The Black Shield Warband uh, are about to support their brethren here in the center against our Hammer Guard, who do need a bit more support, I think. Man, this is going to be uh, down to the wire, but we are cl we are gaining on them percentage-wise. We are gaining on them. Shoot the Snow Orb Raiders over there, I think. Oh well, no. Ah, let's take out the spears. Just point the way. Ready. Yeah. <laughs> These guys, <they're laughs> n almost none of them have died in taking out so many Black Shield Warband, but of course, their the attack isn't all that good. Blooded. They have lost half their men. So it's a bit of a an eternal standoff here. Oh, <laughs> some dwarves have travelers running in. Oh, and them being attacked from, from the back, kind of. Did a number on them, but let's see if we can't turn this around still. First Legion, still holding true. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Very much in our favor. I'm not sure I would be that wild about it, but okay. Let's see what these... I don't think they'll be doing very well at that angle, but are they about to fire or no, 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 so we're going to reorient them and attack that blob over there, Hillerics, they are the bane of my existence today, they are very solid units.
Oh, there we go. Nice one. Very nice. Excellent, excellent hit. And another good shot. Yes, that is what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Uh, we have some black to warband here. They could do a little bit of a boulder to the head. So let's try to make that happen. Just point the way. Uh, put ourselves in shield wall and try to push through them. Use the mass stat and the high defense of our forces to really just um, punch into them with our shields. Over here. Oh, nice. Okay. So, what do we have here? Okay. Yeah, that didn't really hit anything, but I suppose it damaged an eardrum for someone. <laughs> Not that that has any real impact on the battle. Um, has some black shield archers over there. Let's get those guys under fire. Under barrage. Now, uh, dwarven travelers are routing. But that's okay. I guess they are not professional soldiers. We can't expect them to perform like the first legion. Oh, here we are. The Black Shield archers have exhausted their arrows and are now heading into combat. But they will be met with a whole bunch of rocks. No, they're not, because the catapults have decided to do a little dance. And what are they doing? No, no, no. That Your target's over there. Come on. It's, it's, it's right over there. It's on the other side. Come on. Move, rotate, yes, nice. Now hold that position and load up and fire, please. And now of course they run again, which means that <laughs> 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 uh, Okay. I mean if they mean to confuse our catapult crews, then it seems to be working. Which is almost comical. But now we should be at a point where we can hit them. Come on. Fire. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent shot. Another. Please. Not quite as impactful, but still good. Man, it's going to be a battered and bruised delegation of dwarves that reach Dane's Halls. So they charge us, we charge right back. And the catapults are... They're going to be less useful now, but I, I think they've done a good job in this Our battle. Men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, nice. we will smash First the enemy. Ha has crushed resistance. Um, and our spearmen are doing well too. Black shield archers. Yeah, okay. I, th I think I'll just take you off. Stop firing. Uh, Set of guard. Gonna go against those black shell archers, if you please. Um, got some snow rages there. Take them out. Sons of the Fallen. Get at them. And speed it up a bit, because this is very much the final stages of the battle. Azolk. Azolk needs to die. And die he shall. And those snow raiders, they're not gonna survive either. And they're gone. Excellent. The enemy, the enemy army flees the field. 
After them. Uh, Cut the cowards down. Okay. Be in awe of the victory we have won here today. Man, it was steep losses, but we did it. We did it. Uh, so, Castleton Guardian's doing very, very well for themselves. 255, but Dwarven Catapult takes the cake. 259, and zero losses. That's a kill death ratio that's uh, almost off the scale in a sense. This attack will draw off much of the help that we looked to have from the Benin and Belfalas, where folk are hardy and numerous. And so we come to the side. What to do with the remains of their forces? They're gonna die. Because we want to take the citadel. A proud victory! An honor, my lord. Gondorian architecture, that can't be right. <laughs> but I suppose that's just a standard thing that, you know, whatever. That, uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna read too much into that. Bog's Hole. Get the hence. Uh. Wolf Breeder. And. Beast Breeder. Avengers Headquarters. Goodbye. That might be the last we're gonna see of the uh, Orc Avengers. But we have an unwinding network, and that is going to be very, very helpful. And we have a Comptor's Guild House, so all in all, we can get some good culture buildings in pretty quickly. And Bazakul is now the de facto capital of the Snow Orcs. Moving quietly. Oh. I'm gonna stick you! On my way. Stopping here, sire. Hmm, I'm hearing a weird noise, and uh, it'll be interesting to see if, if it goes I into the recording. Really it's a weird blip. Um, not sure if I know what that is. But regardless, we are in a strong position now because what we really need to do is to consolidate our holdings of Dane's Halls and Mount Gundabad. You get in there. Or as close as you can. Okay. End of turn. Now. Domination requires 30 regions. Uh, Castledom, Castledom West, um, Dunlarach, Gundabad, those we have. We have all those. We need to eliminate the Goblins of Moria. And Moria seem to have just gone off uh, as a horde into Eriador, so I'm not sure we'll be able to ensure their demise, but maybe, maybe not. We will have to wait and see. And the Orcs of Gundabad then. And of course, we shall do our utmost to crush that enemy.
Lord Oin the Conqueror, still the greatest general that this faction has. Nope. I accidentally bashed my microphone stand there. Didn't mean to do that. But already with that battle, this episode is has come in at around 30 minutes because that was quite the the battle. But I'll take uh, one more turn and then we'll see what happens. Okay, we'll see. Now we're coming up on the snow orcs. So what will they do about Danish Halls being captured by Khazad-dum? I suppose this might give imp a bit of impetus to Erebor. They recently lost Anazanar, but I'm sure that they can manage to take it back. Okay, here comes their faction leader with a small expedition force at Maithelberg. But more orcs do come in. Well. Okay. I think we can deal with that. And even if they do take Meitelberg. Which they might. They may not. It depends on the quality of their troops. Uh, but then we will raise an army in Goblin Town. Which is now recruiting and we have a suitable husband Tharkun Axmith Guild in Danes Halls Kazad Kazad we are victorious praise to Durin should he be alive to see that glorious day to his kin our ancestral homes are ours again retaken from the forces of evil yet now starts our greatest challenge as cities need to be rebuilt and repopulated the fires of the forges are burning once more. The mines are echoing the sounds of our picks again. And trade shall flow once more upon the roads. Word shall travel all around the Middle Earth. The dwarves are a force to be reckoned with. The Longbeards sure will sing of these glorious days. And praise the kings that returned the lost cities to our rule. We should be careful, however. For we are sure the enemy will not be pleased hearing this news and they will retaliate. Burk Gazad Gazad Ay Menu Aye Lord Move out Oh a singular Legion Deep in Guard remains. The question is do we get yes we get Dragon Slayers here. Nice Um so another another reason why we want to build up culture as quickly as possible. Have a taste of my blade. Hmm. My king, there are two ways of doing this. You. We can allow them to attack us, which blade. they might do on the next turn. We could also. I'm almost just feeling cheeky. Uh, let's see, do they have any any forces hiding here in the trees? No, they don't really. Who's in there? A general. Lunaf. I'm going to take Lord Oin and besiege Berzakul. That's gonna be the thing. And then we the Sons of the Fallen the siege, can join him. Aye, sire. And the, the First siege. Legion. Why not? Aye, Let's sire. also bring the First Legion. March! That'll do him today, sire. We've marched our limit. Aye, Lord. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I do need to do something about the data sets. Um, I think that's what's plaguing me at the moment um, is the the Lucian mod uh, it builds on the assumption that you change data sets in the in the base game and this leads to 
a, a lot right. of UI and sound effects being lost apparently. I'm not too happy about that. But I think it's an easy fix from game to game, like just swap in and out data sets in and out with no trouble. Um, but uh, of course, that remains to be seen. Oh, hello. Flanagan. Nice Gaelic name there. Flanagan. What do we have here for culture? We can build a barracks. Mm, and then great roads, and a fairground, and a large pig farm, and great miners hall, and healer's post, and you know, we're just gonna develop develop the ever-living crap out of Dunland. Fire has a pipe hole. We can now retrain a general. I'm not sure if uh, the sound blip that I'm hearing is also a cause of that data. Um, oh yeah, the, the trade wagons, they look different too and they seem to be <laughs> skirting around in interesting ways. <laughs> that was weird, one of them kind of did a little dance and just went in and I'm not sure about Move out. <laughs> That'll do them today, how sir. that works. But, Aye. you know, Aye, sir. Uh, Onward. the wonderful quirks Aye. of this Joining wonderful game. Aye. Aye, sir. Oh, Aye. we have a substantial force here. Aye. It should absolutely be enough to Aye, sir. to shame king. king Jagdush. March. Okay, the he's enemy, ready to take it then. Well, in that sir, case, we this engage. is how we're going to do it. We're going to sally out and bring in Captain Furore from the flank. Uh, and then uh, we're going to attack King Jack Dush and perhaps kill him. Who knows? We might be able to regicide the orcs to good, the bad. Um, but for now, that is going to be it. I will have some lunch and see if I can fix the data issue. And then until next time, I will leave you on a cliffhanger. Will we survive this attack? Well, the army strength ratio says we definitely should. Uh, but regardless, I hope you had a wonderful time. This is Captain Total Waffle signing out and wishing you a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you for watching.